Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swaminiti Namine Namaste Sarasati Devi Kauravani Precharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschacha Deshatarine Vancha Kaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhaihevacha Patita Nam Pavanebio Vaishnavibio Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadigor Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So we're reading the Sri Ishopanishad and we're on mantra 15 almost finished I will read the verse in the Sanskrit Haranma yena patrena satyasya pihitam mukam tatvam pushana pavrano satya dharmaya drishtaye that, uh, O oh my Lord, sustainer of all that lives, your real face is covered by your dazzling effulgence. Kindly remove that covering and exhibit yourself to your pure devotee. Alright, so we're just on the final paragraph here of the purport. Recording stopped. We're on the final paragraph of the purport. The conclusion is that one who has no knowledge of the potencies of the Supreme Truth will re realize the impersonal Brahman. So we should understand that realization of the impersonal Brahman is not complete realization of the Absolute Truth. The Absolute Truth is realized as Brahman and then as Paramatma and as Bhagavan. So if we want to understand the Absolute Truth in full, we have to understand about the potencies of the Absolute. And the, the potencies of the Absolute are inconceivable to our limited mind and senses. The, the absolute uh, can be understood by hearing from the great acharyas who have realized the absolute. And if we hear from the scriptures like this Sri Ishupanishad, well, then we can also understand the potencies of the Absolute. So Srila Prabhupada explains then, he says, when one realizes the material potencies of the Lord, but 
he does not have any information of the spiritual potencies. You see, he may realize the material potencies, but he has no information about the spiritual potencies. The material potencies, we can understand something with our limited mind and senses, but the spiritual potencies are much diff more difficult for us to understand. So if we only know about the material potencies, and we may have even a, we may have a little knowledge about spiritual potencies, then we will understand only paramatma realization. But we should understand that both Brahman and Paramatma are still incomplete realizations of the Absolute. If we want full realization of the Absolute Truth, we have to understand about the Personality of Godhead, Lord Krishna. If we want to understand Krishna, then we have to remove that that light that Haranmayena Patra, which is covering the form of the Lord. Right. The Haranmaya, that's the the, the, the effulgence, the light which is coming from the body of the Lord. And it's that light which is covering the form of the Lord and stopping us from seeing the Lord. But if we can remove that covering, if we can get somehow to go through that covering, then we will understand the Lord. And that realization, when we get through the light, then we'll understand that Vasudev Sarvamiti, that Vasudev Krishna is everything. That everything is coming from him and everything is his energies. He is Bhagavan and he is Paramatma and he is also Brahman. And the Bhagavan, Bhagavan feature, that is the root of the whole sp spiritual existence. And Brahman and Paramatma, they're like branches from the root. But it's Bhagavan, which is actually the root of the tree. So, in the Bhagavad Gita, at the end of the sixth chapter, then Lord Krishna compares these different realizations. Uh, 
The Lord Krishna describes that there are three different levels of transcendentalists. Now they're all all three are transcendentalists. They're not material they're not on the material platform, they're on the spiritual platform. So there's the people who worship the impersonal Brahman. They're usually the jnanis. They follow the path of knowledge. And then there's the worshippers of the Paramatma feature, that's the yogis. And then the, the devotees of Lord Krishna, they worship the Bhagavan feature, they're actually the bhaktas. So in the Bhagavad Gita, in the sixth chapter, at the end of the sixth chapter, Lord Krishna says that the jnanis, that the jnanis are better than the ordinary karmi, the, the ordinary karmi who is just a fruit of worker. Archana, they're saying they, they cannot hear the Chinese translation. Oh, okay, Ramash, I, I will fix that. Uh, can anybody else do it, Ramash? Anybody else do what? Do the translation because that Mataji speaker might have problem. Oh, the Mataji who's doing the translation, her speaker has a problem. Her mic has a problem. Yeah, might be. That's why she cannot hear. They cannot hear her. Janaka, Janaka Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Good day. Ta show na 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 zo fani deren ta de ta de ta yo wenti ta de mic yo wenti. Oh, sudah. Kalau tak tindak lagi, ingat. Tulasi kopi nanti. Sesiapa tindak lagi, ingat. Sudah tulasi kopi nanti atau fani ma? Tui. Oh. Oh. Mereka berapa? Hari bau sate. Yeah. 对，是托拉西塔那儿，我我想应该是接触不好吧，是他那儿卖的问题，不是设置的问题。我我再让他调试吧。有别的人可以做。呃，我我去联系一下，我看看我妈妈那边在不在。嗯。Sorry，嗯
So in summary, we can say that if somebody is a philosopher, it's better than to just be an ordinary worker. But if somebody is able to be a mystic, that is better than being a philosopher. And from all the all the yogis who are mystics, if somebody has bhakti, if they have devotion and they engage in service for Lord Krishna, he's the best. So the Sri Ishopanishad tells us to work for this, to try to become the best yogi. Do bhakti yoga. Okay, so that's the end of mantra 15. We'll go on to mantra 16. I'll read the Sanskrit. Okay. Ushan Ekashi Yamasurya Prajapatya Vayuha Rasmin Samuha Tejo Yate Rupam Kalyanatamam Tate Pashyami Yo Shavasho Parusha Soham Asmi Translation O oh, oh my Lord, O oh primeval philosopher, maintainer of the universe, O oh regulating principle, destination of the pure devotees, well-wisher of the progenitors of mankind, please remove the effulgence of your transcendental rays so that I can see your form of bliss. You are the eternal supreme personality of Godhead, like unto the sun, as am I. Gurumani? Hare Krishna. Woman, you may, we, we should not be able to hear you. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Uh, maybe she disconnect? Is that happen? No. What oh, did, okay. This is a different lady translating now. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Guru Mani, you think that, can you hear me, do, Guru Mani? Yeah, yes, I, I can hear you. Okay, we're, we're, we're on mantra 16 now. 16, oh, okay. Ishopanishad, mantra 16. We just begin, I just read the translation. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, เคลื่อนแสงรัศมีทิพย์ของพระองค์ออกไปเพื่อค่าอาจเป็นรูปลักษณ์อันเคลื่อนไปติดสุขทิพย์เพื่อค่าอาจเห็นรูปลักษณ
ให้พระองค์เนี่ยทรงขจัดแสงสว่างที่ปิดที่ปกคลุมพระองค์ไว้ And that effulgence, effulgence is coming from the body of the Lord, so it's a Brahma j o y t i and it's transcendental. But the devotee is not attracted to see just some effulgence. The devotee wants to see the form of the Lord. เห็นแค่แสงสว่างของพระองค์แต่สาวคืออยากจะเห็นถึงรูปหลักของพระองค์ So the devotee is praying just like mantra 15 he prayed so mantra 16 is praying again please remove that effulgence we want to see your form of bliss เราก็บอกว่าแล้วตรงนี้นะก็เป็นเหมือนกับคำอธิษฐานว่าได้โปรดทรงเอาเอาแสงสว่างนี้เนี่ยออกไปเถอะเพราะครับพวกข้าพเจ้าเนี่ยอยากจะเห็นอยากจะเห็นพระองค์ so in the prayer he 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 prays that you, he prays to Krishna that you are the eternal supreme personality of Godhead ในอาวัตถิจจะบอกว่าพระองค์เนี่ยทรงเป็นมุกุลกภาพสมสุดของเจ้าผู้เดิม and His form is described a form of bliss. The form of the Lord is actually purely spiritual. It's eternal, full of bliss and knowledge. Okay. So then, at the end of yeah, how how about? The host has to set me as the translator. Archana. Okay, you, Guru Mani. Yeah. Uh, Guru Mani, make her the translator. Guru Mani. Okay, sure, sure. Uh, I raise my hand. Okay. You do it, Archana. Mm. Because I'm I'm doing it with my mobile, Guru Maharaj. I will ne- need need my Guruji help, but. Did he do it? n e m a i can n e m a i do it? Hi, Bo. Are you there, Archana? What's going on? Hi, Bo. Good day. Hi, Bo. 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 Hi, Amy, ta yo li Amy dig Archana jin tian wan sheng ta bu zai ta de jia ta zai lu you Amy tam zai na bian fang jia ta chu bei de di fang so ta zhi yong ta de shou ji zuo zhe ge so ta chong chong zhe yi ge ren zai mang gu ni rang rang ta zuo. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
。对，就是这个人是是谁？他没在，好像没在电脑前。嗯，是有一个人在曼谷，他说，那那个人他的名字是尼玛萨奇苏达。啊，哦，尼玛，那是啊，穿的马德基好像离开了，但是尼玛他尼尼尼玛好像也没没在电脑前，因为刚才我我跟他说让他设置不如马马德基为翻译，但是好像没有人可以看到。非常抱歉。嗯，因为他他说他他只带他的手机，所以他自己不会，他他只通过那个曼谷的人说、啊，我不知道他们做什么。我们给他们时间，看他们会来。阿春的曼德基好像是不是下去了去打电话？可能。现在他设好了。好了，嗯 ，OK。现在是 Guru Mani 翻译啊。阿春的曼德基应该能回来了。Hari Krishna. Hari Bo. Yeah. Okay. 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 Now okay. Now it's okay. Yes. Sati. Okay. Kaima. Okay. Guru Mani, you jump in Halama. You you will cannot hear Hari Guru Mani. Oh. Oh. Okay. I can't hear. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it's okay. Okay. So we're on the purport of mantra sixteen. Okay. So in 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 the translation, the prayer had said that uh, the devotee is praying to Krishna, and he said, "You are like unto the sun, as am I." And so Prabhupada begins the purport to explain the meaning of this sentence. And Prabhupada explains the sun and the rays coming from the sun are one and the same in quality. Like one ray, and Krishna is like the sun. We are the same in quality, but different in quantity. So Krishna and the living entities, we are quantity. One in quality, different in quantity. So there's one sun, but there are many, many rays coming from the sun. And the, all the rays which come from the sun, they're all part of the sun. So, but there's no meaning to the sun without the sun rays. They both have to be there, both the sun and the rays from the sun. 
่แต่ว่าทั้งหมดทั้งดวงอาทิตย์แล้วก็อาทิตย์เนี่ยก็จะต้องอยู่ที่นั่นมีอยู่จะต้องมีการมีอยู่ของทั้งคน You can't you cannot have rays coming from the sun without a sun there has to be the sun เราไม่สามารถที่จะมีแสงอาทิตย์ที่มาจากดวงอาทิตย์โดยที่ไม่มีดวงอาทิตย์ได้ And you cannot have sun without rays แล้วเราก็ไม่สามารถที่จะมีแสงไม่สามารถมีดวงอาทิตย์แล้วก็ไม่มีแสง And within the sun planet there's a sun god และในโลกของดวงอาทิตย์เนี่ยก็มีพระอาทิตย์ And then the same way in the spiritual world, there's the supreme spiritual planet. ในลักษณะเดียวกันภายในดาวเคราะห์ทิพย์สูงสุดเนี่ยก็ก็จะมีมีโลกที่สูงสุดอยู่ The spiritual world, there's all the the rays of the Brahma Jyoti. The light of the Brahma Jyoti is everywhere. และในโลกทิพย์เนี่ยสายของบรมโจติเนี่ยมันแพร่กระจายออกไปทั่ว And within the Brahma Jyoti, we've got the supreme planet, the Goloka Vrindavan. And we know Aribo. So, within she is no. What, what happened? Yeah, yeah, she is mute, Guru Maharaj. Okay, within Goloka Vrindavan, then there is the Supreme Lord Krishna enjoying his pastimes. และในเอ่อสถานที่ที่ชื่อว่าโกโลกาบรินดาวันมีคริสนาพระพรองค์ทรงประทับอยู่ที่นั่นแล้วก็ทรงมีความสุขกับลีลาทิพย์ของพระองค์ But the whole planet of Goloka Vrindavan, it's it, uh, all the Brahma Jyoti effulgence is coming from the Goloka Vrindavan. So then, the the Lord Krishna's pastimes in Goloka Vrindavan are described for us. In the prayer from the Brahma Samhita. Right. Prabhupada often quotes the Brahma Samhita. This, this book, Brahma Samhita, was found by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. หนังสือที่ชื่อบรมสมิตานี้เนี่ยคนพบโดยพระองค์เจ้าเจตันยะ Lord Chaitanya was traveling in South India and he went to one temple called the Adikeshwara Temple แล้วก็ที่นั่นเนี่ยมหาประบูเนี่ยทรงเดินทางไปที่ภาคใต้แล้วก็ไปที่วัดหนึ่งที่ชื่อว่า Adikeshwara It's a very ancient temple. It's a nice temple. You can go to see it. It's in South India. It's in the state of Kerala. And what t m is s a y u i u n s o n k o n r a t i s h i w a Kerala. And it's not far away from Trivandrum. Trivandrum is the main city, the capital of Kerala. So 500 years ago, Lord Chaitanya went to that temple, and there were many brahmanas there, and he heard one brahmana reading the Brahma Samhita. So when Lord Chaitanya heard the Brahma Samhita, he liked it very much, and he had copies of the Brahma Samhita made. <coughs> Guru Mani ni yo enti ma. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So, uh, so Lord Chaitanya got copies made and he carried them back with him all the way from South India. He carried them all the way back up to Jagannath Puri. And when he came to Jagannath Puri, then he gave all the devotees copies and they all, they all copied and they all learned the Brahma Samhita. So the Acharyas, they often quote the Brahma Samhita in the commentaries on the purports. You'll see verses from Brahma Samhita. So these are prayers offered by Lord Brahma. And this is only one chapter from the Brahma Samhita. You can see they put Brahma Samhita 529. So this is the fifth chapter. And we don't have any other chapters. There, there, must, there are other chapters, but we don't have them. We only have the fifth chapter. All right, so you can see this is a verse. Each verse ends, Govindam Adipursham Tamaham Bajamin, that I worship Govinda, the primeval Lord. So this verse is describing about Krishna's uh, residence in the spiritual world. What's it like in the spiritual world? This verse describes. It describes that in this in this in Goloka Vrindavan, Krishna is taking care of the cows, but the cows are not ordinary cows. Yeah, they're described, they're surabi cows. Surabi cows means they can fulfill all your desires. Whatever you may want, it can come from the cow just by your desire. But the people, the people in Goloka Vrindavan are all pure devotees. They don't desire anything. They just simply want milk to worship Krishna. And with the milk, they will make butter and cheese and they'll make sweets to offer to Krishna and they'll make ghee. And then with the ghee, then they can offer uh, nice foodstuffs to Krishna and they can also worship Krishna. So Krishna's there in Goloka Vrindavan taking care of all these spiritual cows, all the Sarabi cows. And then it's described also that in the Goloka Vrindavan there's a lot of Chintamani. Chintamani means special spiritual gems. So 
Mm. This chintamani is a special dust, which is, it fulfills, again, it fulfills all the desires of everyone. Hmm. So the devotees will use this chintamani, they build their houses with the chintamani. And then there's also special trees, because Krishna is going in the forest every day, there's many trees, but not ordinary trees, they're very special trees. Krishna brings the cows into the forest, and there's many kalpa briksha trees. So these trees can produce any kind of fruit and flowers, whatever you may desire, all varieties. We see here in India at certain time of the year we will get apple, then at another time of the year we will get grape, and then another time of the year there will be guava. At different seasons there will be different fruits. But in the spiritual world, from one tree you can get any variety of fruits at any time of the year. So this is the nature of Krishna's abode in the spiritual world. Then it also describes who lives there with Krishna, that he has many, many hundreds and thousands of goddesses of fortune all there okay. serving him. So all of these goddesses of fortune, they're all gopis and they've come to Goloka Vrindavan as gopis to be with Krishna. So the, the, the people, the, go, the, the goddesses of fortune who, who come to Goloka Vrindavan, they're the very, very special goddesses of fortune because they come to be gopis with Krishna. Now in Vaikuntha, there's a go the goddess of fortune, the Maha there's a Mahalakshmi, who is the, the, the principal, the main goddess of fortune. So she's there with Lord Narayan in Vaikuntha. But she cannot go to Vrindavan to be with Krishna. In the, in the material world, on this planet, we have also Vrindavan, and Goddess of Fortune Lakshmi comes there to do austerity. And she does great austerity because she wants to go into Rasa Leela. Usually we all pray to the Goddess of Fortune 
We want to get her blessings. We want the goddess of fortune to bless us, to give us wealth, <laughs> to let us enjoy the material world. But the goddess of fortune, she goes to Vrindavan and she prays to the people in Vrindavan, please bless me. She wanted to go into Krishna's Rasalila pastimes. But Krishna told her, no, that's not for you, that's not your position. So Krishna blessed her that she could always reside on his chest and there's a golden line on the chest of Krishna and that is where the goddess of fortune resides eternally. All right. So then, Prabhupada explains about the Brahm, about the Brahma Jyoti and how it is described in the Brahma Samhita. So it's described there that the Brahma Jyoti are the rays which come from the spiritual planet, Goloka Vrindavan. Just like the rays of the sun come from the sun planet, so the, 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 the Brahma Jyoti comes from the Goloka Vrindavan. But if we want to get information, if we want to understand about Goloka Vrindavan, about the land where Krishna lives, we have to go through the Brahma Jyoti. Now some people they just get to the light and they think oh the light the Brahma Jyoti and they think that's that's everything and they stop there they don't go any further. So if they do that, then they don't get any information about Krishna and about his transcendental land. So the impersonalist philosophers, the Mayavadis like that, they cannot understand the Lord. Because they, they become attracted, they get lost with the Brahma Jyoti, they just stop at the Brahma Jyoti. So they don't know about the actual <coughs> kingdom where Krishna lives and they don't know about Krishna's transcendental form. So they have very, their knowledge, the people like these impersonalists, their knowledge is limited only to knowledge of the Brahman. So in this prayer of this, this mantra of Sri Ishopanishad, the devotees are praying to the Lord to remove that effulgence. 
สาวกคือจะปรารถนาต่อพระองค์ให้ช่วยเอาแสงเจิดจับนี้เนี่ยที่ปกคลุมพระองค์นี้เนี่ยให้ออกไป The devotees are not interested in the light. They want to go through the light. They want to see the form of the Lord. And they know that the the Lord, the form of the Lord, is completely transcendental, and it's very blissful. เพราะพวกเราเนี่ยทราบดีว่ารูปร่างของพระองค์เนี่ยเป็นทิพย์แล้วก็มีความเลื่อมปิติสุข Right the form of the Lord is such an Ananda full of eternity knowledge and bliss เพราะรูปร่างของพระองค์เนี่ยคือ such an Ananda วิกราหนั่นก็แปลว่าพระองค์ทรงมีรูปร่างทรงเป็นอมตะแล้วก็มีความเลื่อมปิติสุข So, if somebody, the, the impersonalists, they only know about the Brahma j o i t i so they know something about the the aspect. Some they know about the auspicious aspect of Krishna. แล้วพวกพระมาพวกที่รู้แจ้งในส่วนของพระมาจุติเนี่ยคือเขาจะรู้เขาจะมีประสบการณ์ในมุมมองที่เป็นมงคลของพระองค์ Yeah, the the light, this b r a h m a j o i t i is auspicious because it's coming from the spiritual world, so it's very auspicious. But if somebody can understand the Paramatma, which means all-pervading feature of the Supreme, that's even better. That's even more auspicious. แต่ถ้าเกิดเราบุคคลเนี่ยสามารถเข้าใจในส่วนของพารามาตมาได้เนี่ยอันนั้นมันจะดีกว่าเสียอีก But if they can go on and understand the personality of Godhead Himself as a person, then that is the best. That's the highest thing. That's the most auspicious. ว่าถ้าเกิดว่าสามารถไปในรูปแบบของมุคลิกภาพได้เนี่ยหมายว่าเป็นบุคคลได้ So in the prayer, the Supreme Lord is described. He's the, he's described as the, the primeval philosopher. And he's described also. As the maintainer and the well-wisher of the universe. So to understand that the supreme is doing all of these things, we should understand he must be a person. He cannot just simply be some energy. So every word in the mantras is very significant. So he is described as the maintainer. He's put the word in Sanskrit is pushan, pushan meaning he's the maintainer. So that's who is he maintaining? He maintains everyone, all living entities. เราตรงนี้เนี่ยเราจะในคำอุปนิชนี้ให้คำว่าผู้ชาซึ่งผู้ชาเนี่ยแปลว่าผู้อนุรักษ์ We know the Lord is in the heart of all living entities. เพราะเรารู้ว่าพระองค์เนี่ยทรงอยู่ในหัวใจของทุกสิ่งมีชีวิต So he maintains everyone, but he has a special feeling for his devotees. พระองค์เนี่ยทรงคำจุนเราทรงอนุรักษ์ So if a devotee can go through the impersonal feature, 
go past the Brahma Jyoti. And if he can actually go on to see the personal feature of the Lord. And he can see the most auspicious, the eternal form, then he can actually know the absolute truth in full. Yeah, just like when they first built the train, you know, everybody wanted to see the train. Nobody had seen a train before. So people all went to the railway station. They wanted to see the train. So the people were all in the train station and they were waiting and then it was at night and it was very dark and then they saw in the distance, they saw a light. There was a light on the front of the train. And so when the people saw the light, they thought, oh, that's a train. And so they saw the light on the train, so they went home. They thought, yeah, we saw the train, we saw the light, it's a train. So in the same way, some people, they see the light, they see the Brahma Jyoti, they see the light and they think this is God, this is the Supreme. But we should understand the light is only one feature of the Supreme. There's more to understand. The light is coming from the Supreme. So we have to, we shouldn't just stop at the light. You have to go through the light and understand the source where the light is coming from. Just like we have light in our home, and where does the light come from? There has to be a power station. Mm, it's not that the light is just coming from the 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 the, the house. The, the, the cables are connected to the power station and there's a power station producing the electricity and that gives the light. Okay, so we will stop here. Are there any questions? Shaya has a question. Um, so I would like to know more about um, Guru of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Guru Maharaj. Um, I heard about Mahaprabhu have two Guru. Um, can you explain about that? Madhuri got 
อยากจะทราบข้อมูลเกี่ยวกับพระอาจารย์ของพระองค์เจ้าเจตเนียบดีบอกว่าได้ยินมาว่าพระองค์เนี่ยทรงมีพระอาจารย์สองคน no actually his one guru he took he took initiation first of all from Ishwara Puri who gave him initiation into the chanting of the holy name But then later on, he took sannyas, and when he took sannyas, then he has to take sannyas from another guru, from another sannyasi. So he took it from a different person. He, he wanted to take sannyas. His own guru was not there at the time, so he took sannyas from another person. But just because you take sannyas from someone, he doesn't become your guru. He's just doing you an init. He's giving you an initiation. He's giving you. Initiation into the position of sannyas. Just like I took initiation into the chanting of Hari Krishna from s h r i l a p r a b h u p a d and then later on I took sannyas from t a m a l Krishna Goswami. So you, when you take sannyas, you have to take sannyas from somebody who's a sannyasi. So my spiritual master had already departed from the world, so I could not take from him. ในการรับสัญญาเนี่ยจะต้องรับจากบุคคลที่เป็นสัญญาสีแล้วตอนแรกเพราะว่าตอนนั้นเนี่ยกูมาจะรับกับพระบาลแต่พระบาลเนี่ยจากโลกนี้ไปแล้ว So I took sannyas from t a m a l Krishna Goswami who was also a disciple of Srila Prabhupada แล้วกูมาก็เลยตัดสินใจที่จะรับสัญญาจาก t a m a l Krishna Goswami มาเพราะว่าพระบาลไม่อยู่แล้ว However, we do see Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna had the name-giving name ceremony. His name was given by Gargacharya. So Gargacharya gave the name. Gave the, at the Krishna's birth, he gave the names. But later on, after Krishna. Had grown up a bit, and he'd come back from Vrindavan, and then he came to Mathura and killed Kamsa, and then he released Vasudevan Devaki from the prison house. Then they wanted Krishna and Balaram to get more education. หลังจากที่ Krishna ส่งมาที่มัทุราแล้วก็ส่งสังหารพวกคัมสาลายเสร็จแล้วก็เอาคุณพ่อกับคุณแม่วาสุเดวกับเดวกิที่ติดคุกเนี่ยออกมาแล้วก็แล้วแต่ว่าทางคู่เนี่ยก็อยากจะให้กุศลบารามเนี่ยได้มีการเรียนหรือว่าศึกษาเพิ่มเติม So then they sent him to Saint Krishna and Balaram to the ashram of Sandipani Muni. So Sandipani Muni became like the guru. แล้วหลังจากนั้นเนี่ยก็ได้ตัดสินใจที่คู่เนี่ยไปเรียนกับ Sandipani Muni. สรุปก็คือท่าน Sandipani Muni ถือว่าเป็นพระอาจารย์ So Sandipani Muni gave them instruction. They stayed there for uh, 64 days. And then, Sandip, then they asked Sandipani Muni. They asked Sandipani Muni. Is there any service we can do for you? Can we do anything to repay you for all your teachings to us? And then, 
ถ้าเวลาเป็นการตอบแทนกับสิ่งที่ท่านอยากได้สอนให้กับพวกเรา So Sandi Panimuni told them he understood that they were very special students. So he asked them. He said, "Some time back, my son died when he was at the sea. He was at the beach, and he died in the sea." He said, "Can you bring him back to life for us?" The p a s a n t said, "Well, in the past, the child was sick. 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 Went to the sea, and he found there was some demon there. And uh, Krishna kill, killed that demon, but he could not find the son of his guru. So then he went to then he went to Yamaraj. And when he went there to Yamaraj, then he told Yamaraj that he said, "Do you have the son of my guru?" And so that the Yamaraj brought him, and then Lord Krishna brought the the, the guru's son back to him. So in this way, Krishna and Balaram they pleased their guru very much. They satisfied him. And they asked Sandipani Muni, "Is there anything else you would like?" But he said, "Anyone who has you as their disciple, we don't, I don't want anything more. It's enough. You've done enough." สันนิปันเดมุลีบอกว่าอ๋อไม่ต้องการอะไรแล้วพวกเธอทำดีที่สุดแล้ว So you are, you have to understand there's initiating guru and there's instructing guru so in, the initiating guru is only one but instructing gurus can be many แต่เราจะต้องเข้าใจก่อนว่าพระอาจารย์เนี่ยจะมีพระอาจารย์ที่คอยแนะนำแล้วก็ให้คําสั่งเรากับพระอาจารย์ที่ให้การอุปสมบทกับเราพระอาจารย์ที่ให้ให้การอุปสมบทกับเราเนี่ยมีเพียงหนึ่งเดียวแต่พระอาจารย์ที่ให้คำแนะนำกับเราเนี่ยอาจจะมีหลายคนได้ You only take initiation from one person, but you can take instructions, and we take instruction. Everyone takes instruction from s h u l a Prabhupada. เราจะรับการอุปสมบทจากท่านจากกรุท่านเดียวแต่ว่าคำสั่งสอนที่เราจะรับเอามาปฏิบัติก็คือคำสั่งสอนจากศิลปะพระอาจารย์ Before you take initiation, first you take instruction. And after you take instruction, then you have faith in the instructor, and then you take initiation from the person. So everyone, they should have instructing gurus as well as initiating guru. And even after taking initiation, you still continue to take instruction from other people. And most important is to take the instructions from s h i l a Prabhupada. And we get the instructions from s h i l a Prabhupada by reading his books carefully. You understand now? Yes, Guru Maharaj. So, um, Iswar Puri Swami has come from Madhava, um, Sampradaya, right, Guru Maharaj? And how about um, Ramanujan Sampradaya, um, relate 
um, uh, about our ISKCON Sambadaya or not? Nikkei Jung, you better speak Thai. Uh, it's not very clear. Um, Ajana, um, about um, Ramanujaraya, Ramanujana, Sai Ramanujana. อีเอ็นเอ่อพี่ก็เลยคิดว่าสับสนว่าเอ่อเค้าแบบมันเกี่ยวข้องอะไรกับสายเราหรือเปล่าอะไรอย่างเงี้ยเพราะว่าของเรา
แล้วหลังจากนั้นเนี่ยเขาก็มามาร่วมกับขบวนการของพระองค์เจ้าเจตัญญาแล้วก็มาในสายของของเราเหมือนกันแล้วก็พวกเขาก็ออกจากบ้านแล้วก็เดินทางไปเป็นดาวไป So we have nice friendship with the other Vaishnava sampradayas. Although we have some, there's some differences, but still we have nice friendship. We offer our respects to them. Be because they are also, they also have the mood to be the servant of the Supreme Lord. Generally, the Ramanujas they think of Vishnu as the supreme, and Krishna is the avatar. We say Krishna is the supreme and Vishnu is the avatar. They say Vishnu is the supreme and Krishna is the avatar. ภาพแตกต่างก็คือของเราเนี่ยจะบอกว่าเวชนาคือบุคลิกภาพสูงสุดของพระเจ้าแล้วก็พระวิษณุคือภาคแบ่งแยกที่เป็นอวตารของพระองค์แต่ว่าสายของเขาจะบอกว่าพระวิษณุคือสูงสุดและเวชนาเป็นอวตารเข้าใจไหมเข้าใจค่ะคุณมาราชขอบคุณค่ะ thank you คุณมาราชเฮริกิชาเฮริกิชาอยู่ว่าที่สัจจะมีคำถามไหม Yes, Guru Maharaj, Hare Krishna, please accept my humble obeisances. Oh, Guru Chaitanya Prabhupada. Uh, some people um, uh, ready, are ready to accept um, Brahman and Paramatma, but not Krishna. Uh, they like to speak about uh, philosophy, about uh, energy, but uh, not about uh, personal, personal aspect of uh, Supreme Lord. Why is it so, Guru Maharaj? Maybe reason is uh, they, um, they, uh, they are not ready to accept uh, the idea of serving like this. Yes. Come to me, ma'am. Tell me, why do they not have the people who are ready to accept the idea of serving like this? Yes. Come to me, ma'am. Tell me, why do they not have the people who are ready to accept the idea of serving like this? Yes. Come to me, ma'am. Tell me, why do they not have the people who are ready อันนี้เนี่ยเป็นเพราะอะไรเป็นเพราะเขาเนี่ยไม่สามารถยอมรับอารมณ์แห่งการเป็นผู้รับใช้ได้หรอกหรือว่าอย่างฮาริคุชนาอาร์จินาคุณได้ยินฉันไหมใช่ค่ะใช่ค่ะโอเคโอเคอ yes it's much easier for people to think of impersonalism than to understand God as a person In some ways, it's it's easier for them. God try you, lah. In the name of God, try you. Because some people, yeah, some people, they will accept in the part of the one. One reason. One reason is people like the idea to be God. They think you know we're all, I'm God. I'm the supreme, and that's. What many people want to be, they want to be God. They don't want to be the servant of God. They want to be the supreme themselves. And there are so many people promoting the impersonal philosophy. It's very common. When I first went to the temple, they asked me, "Do you know who God is?" And I said, "I'm God. We're all God." ใช่รู้ไหมว่าพระเจ้าเป็นใครแต่ก็แต่ว่าเราก็ชั้นใหญ่เราทุกคนนั่นแหละเป็นพระเจ้าหมด And so they looked at me and they all laughed they said you're God really แล้วก็ทุกคนก็มองกุรุมาราแล้วก็หัวเราะแล้วก็บอกเธอเป็นพระเจ้าจริงเหรอทุกคนก็หัวเราะ So I could realize 
it was ridiculous. I realized I'm, I'm really not God. Like how I could be God. God is that person from which everything comes. So we have to learn, we have to hear from the devotees, we have to learn. It's very easy to be cheated and think it's all one. I'm, a, I'm God, you're God, we're all God. So that's a bogus philosophy, it's not true. So we we shouldn't be cheated. We have to hear from Prabhupada and from other devotees that we can understand. Okay, Yogita Sharma has a question. Yogita? I just want to ask that, um, yes, Arjuna does ask Lord Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita that there are many things that we don't want to do, but the modes of nature, material nature, they really force us, Gurudev, and you know, after chanting for so many years, which is actually very little or nothing, but you know, there was a feeling that, no, don't worry, it will be taken care of, just chant, everything will be okay. But then when the modes attack Gurudev, at that moment, you can't tell, the feeling is such that the activity is done, and then when it's done, you feel like, oh my God, why did I do this? Still, Gurudev, I mean, such, Things do happen. I mean, Govinda, I don't know. It's creating more distance between me and Lord Krishna. I just feel very scared at times. So, what do I do, Gurudev? I mean, I can just continue chanting still and keep that faith, right? But I just feel scared, Gurudev, because the distance I feel, I'm still increasing between myself and the Lord and the mode of service that I may carry forward with will not yet be at the proper level. Maybe it will go lower or, I don't know, it just scares me, just the thought of it, Gurdiv. <laughs> yeah. What can I do? <laughs> Arjuna, are you, can you translate that? Arjuna, are you there? Yes, Gurdiv. Are you, yes, go on. Are you going to translate Did you that? hear me? Are you going to translate her question? Yes, yes. Yes, go on. เอ่อคําถามของมาตรีนะคะถามว่าหลังจากที่คุณชนะทรงบอกในบทกิจตาว่าเอ่อมันมีการกระทําที่อยู่ซ้ําซ้ําระดับแห่งธรรมชาติว
สามารถอยู่เหนือสามระดับนี้ได้แต่คําถามก็คือเธอได้ปฏิบัติการไว้ต้นเสียสารับใจที่บริสุทธิ์ไหมหรือว่าเธอทําการปฏิบัติแบบผสมผสาน So you can realize that when the modes of nature influence you, it means that your devotional service is not so pure. ถ้าเกิดว่าเราเนี่ยยังได้รับผลกระทบจากสามระดับแห่งธรรมชาติวัตถุอยู่นั้นมันหมายความว่าการละเอียดต้นเสียสารับใจของเราเนี่ยมันยังไม่บริสุทธิ์ If your devotional service was really pure, then you would not be influenced by the modes of nature. แต่การละเอียดต้นเสียสารับใจของเราเนี่ยมันบริสุทธิ์จริงๆเราจะไม่ได้รับผลกระทบอะไรจากสามระดับแห่งธรรมชาติวัตถุ So we have to go on. You have to continue hearing and chanting, and you have to try to overcome the tendency to be influenced by the modes of nature. It's not just holding the beads and chanting. We have to really develop attachment for Krishna. I know you have a lot of attachment for Krishna. But it's still mixed with your material desires. แต่เราจะต้องพัฒนาการสวดภาวนาของเราพัฒนาในส่วนของความสัมพันธ์ที่เรามีต่อกริชนาแม้มีการรู้ทิศตนต่อพระองค์แล้วเนี่ยแม้เราเพิ่มความการรู้ทิศตนเพิ่มการเราจะระลึกถึงพระองค์ให้มากขึ้น So material desires. Even if the desires are, uh, sorry, good day. Material. Even if the desires are. Mm, sorry, sorry. You go ahead. Please. Material desires will come in many different ways. Particularly, you know, we have attachments for our different fa mm. family members. We have attachments yeah. to our economic situation, our economic status. Hmm. When the desire to be a devotee, it comes in many different ways. Sometimes it comes in the form of attachment to our family members, or the attachment to our family members that we love. So many people, they, you know, they, they, they. Of course, they have the deities, they have the family deity, and they worship the deity. But you know, it's still often their devotion is mixed with their material desires. So we have to really pray to Krishna. We have to go deep into our attachments to Krishna and get rid of all the material desires. So if you read the different symptoms. In the nectar of devotion, it describes there are nine different symptoms of a person who has come to the state of bhava. They're very, very attached to living in the holy dam. They use every minute of their time for devotional service. And they're very attached to describing the glories of the Lord to the devotees. And Anyway, I mean, you can reflect yourself on these different nine items which are mentioned there, and reflect how you can improve your devotional service. We have to understand. We have to understand that there, there's always more to go. You know, we should never think, "Oh, I'm." I'm perfect. Now I've made it. You know, I don't have. I'm already up there. I don't have any further to go. You should understand. There's always more to go. Further things to go to. We have to understand that we will. We will.
Okay. Yes, Claudia, very clear. Thank you so much. All right. Any other questions here? Vaishnava Vani? Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. Uh, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Srila Prabhupada. Uh, Guru Maharaj, uh, my question is, sometime back, uh, one uh, person who was initiated in uh, Ramanuja, they asked if they can get initiation also in this font. Um, and then uh, recently, when I was in Chennai, I saw one of uh, a devotee, Iskon devotee, uh, in from Pune, who was chanting 16 rounds. Uh, she got initiated from the uh, Ramanuja Acharya, uh, like that, uh, uh, so, um, so I'm seeing like uh, people who are initiated uh, here. Sometimes they go to other sampradaya and get initiated. Is it okay, Guru Maharaj? And also, my understanding is since uh, Iskon uh, Gaudiya sampradaya, uh, they follow the footsteps of the gopis. Uh, it's on a higher level, and uh, uh, so. My understanding is someone who got initiated in ISKCON, they don't have to some go to other sampradayas because uh, it's on a higher platform. Uh, I want to know if my understanding is correct, Guru Maharaj. Arjuna? Arjuna? <laughs> Yes, uh, you're correct. That actually, we would say that uh, the teachings of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are the highest, but sometimes people somehow, they have some problem in ISKCON, or they may have some problem with the, uh, the temple where they're in, and they decide they want to go to another temple, and they may go to a Ramanuja temple. It's not very good, but sometimes it happens like that. Now sometimes people do come from families which are in the Ramanuja Sampradaya and they may come to ISKCON and the spiritual teacher may give them initiation. It's up to the spiritual teacher to decide. Sometimes Prabhupada would initiate people from other sampradayas. Because certainly the teachings of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are higher than what they get from the other. And we, we see sometimes that the other sampradayas, they don't spend much time, they don't give much training or education to people. Often they may be initiated in it. It's just like a family tradition that our family are all initiated in this line and they take initiation, but they don't get any training or instruction. <laughs> And then they meet Iskon and they come to Iskon and they become impressed with Iskon and the teachings and the philosophy and the instruction they get and they become convinced. They take initiation into Iskon. Okay. Ah, yes, Guru Maharaj. Uh, whether the previous Guru will get offended, uh, Guru Maharaj, in this case we do, should we ask permission from the previous Guru? Should they ask uh, if someone uh, from a Ramanuja, if they want to come into ISKCON, should they ask the permission of that previous Acharya or it's okay? Uh -huh. 
Well, if they have a relationship, if they do have some connection with the Guru, if they're regularly connected with the Guru, then they should can definitely ask him if it's okay. I don't think he would give permission, <laughs> but they, they, should, they should ask. Usually what happens is the people who are coming to ISKCON, that, you know, their family are coming in that line from Ramanuja or some Madhva or something. And so they, but they never had actually a guru, they never really had any real instruction from them or anything. They didn't undergo any training or anything. But they considered themselves Sri Vaishnavas. You know, just like your mother and father, you know, they're Sri Vaishnavas, but, you know, who's their guru? Uh, yes, Guru Maharaj, yeah. Yeah, they never met their guru after initiation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they didn't really get any instruction, you know. They took initiation, but they didn't get any instruction. And, and so, you know, they were just a loose, they were adrift. They didn't have any real connection. So in that case, the initiation works still, Guru Maharaj. Is, are they still under the shelter of the Acharya? If somebody takes initiation and then they don't have any contact with the Guru, after that, uh, does the, what, what is their situation? Does the Guru still hold responsibility of those disciples? or? Uh, well, it's, it's up to the disciples to decide for themselves. How do they feel? Do they want to be connected to that guru? Are they feeling attachment to that guru? They feel that they have an effect, and you know that they have a, a debt to that guru. Has he actually really done much to help them? They have to consider for themselves what is their situation. If in their heart they're feeling some attachment and affection for that guru, then they should go to the guru and should get, make some rule and take instruction from or something. But if they feel, you know, that, well, he never did anything, he never helped us, he's gone now and we don't know anybody now, so then they, maybe they should, they should come to ISKCON and get initiated. You have to consider the circumstances. What do yes, you, Guru Maharaj. Yeah? Uh, I, I get it now. Yeah. From their heart, how they feel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. From their heart, how do they feel? You know, are they, are they if they're really, really in their heart, they're feeling that, the, oh, this person is my guru and he's helped me so much and he's done everything for me, then okay, then no need to take initiation from ISKCON. But if they don't have that feeling, they don't have that attachment or effect, then they should come to ISKCON and develop it. Yeah? Yeah, yes, Guru Maharaj. It's clear for me. Okay. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you. All right, we'll stop here tonight. Thank you very much, Archana, for your translation. No. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Mm -hmm. Srila Prabhupada, mm -hmm. thank all the devotees for questions and for answers and for participation. Okay, Hare Krishna, Srila Prabhupada, Ki Jai, Gaur Bhakta Vrinda, Ki Jai, Nitai Gaur, Jai, Nityananda Trayodasi, Ki Jai.